Hey everyone, today we're talking about how to propagate your Monstera Deliciosa in two different ways. The first method, you're just going to use your typical water-based method. You cut the cutting, stick it into the water, change the water every two days, and allow the plant to root. We're also going to show you the second way which we prefer to take cuttings using sphagnum moss. This is a combination of moss and perlite. This is our preferred method. We'd suggest you try this one. Regardless of the method you use, you are going to need a pair of clean and sterilized scissors. Wash them with soap and water and then put alcohol over them. And then you're going to, of course, need a mother plant. Now deciding where to take your cutting is crucial. So you're going to be looking for the node. That's the space along the stem that has a line. And typically at this line, roots will form and branches will start to form. So you're looking for these lines that are called nodes along your plant. And then specifically, we're looking for this adventitious root. This root here, and then we have one over here. But many times, like on this plant, you won't have a lot of adventitious roots. So you're going to wait for one to form just like right there. So we're going to start by removing this lowest leaf. We we won't need that. So again, we have this adventitious root just above this node. We see that line in the stem. And then just below, we have another adventitious root. So I know that there's two nodes here. So this is gonna kind of double my chances for rooting success. So I'm gonna go down as far as possible and include as many nodes as possible. One will be sufficient, but here we have two, so we're gonna take two. And if you're doing the water method, you can add a couple drops of bleach to sanitize the water or hydrogen peroxide. Tap water is great because it has chloramine in it and change this water out every two days. If that's your method, you're done. But I would suggest that you try this moss method. We've been having really good success with cuttings in about one week, maybe 10 to 12 days max for full root system. Start by taking a piece of saran wrap, laying your saran wrap down on a work surface. Then we're gonna take some of this moss and perlite mix. This is damp, it's not wet. I soak it in tap water and then I squeezed it out and made sure it didn't have any water dripping off of it. You do not want to over wet your cuttings. This is very important. And if you don't have perlite, it's fine to go with just moss. But remember that perlite is going to add back in some of that air into the mix and make it kind of dummy proof and over watering proof. And that works great for me. I'm going to lay down some of my moss, just a little bunch of it, kind of flat. Then I'm gonna take my cutting and lay it on top of that moss and then kind of build that moss around it in a bit of a ball. Add some back on top if you need to. You don't wanna to add too much and make sure not to bury the stem in here. Once we have it like that, we're gonna kind of bundle it up like a package. So I'm gonna fold the bottom up and then roll the top over, being sure not to squeeze too tightly, but make it snug. And then I'm gonna leave a little gap in the top, but the bottom is closed up. So I'm gonna wrap that around with the saran wrap and then a small piece of tape on the edge. And then when I take a look around, I wanna make sure there's no roots exposed to the saran wrap and just leave moss all the way around. And this way you'll know when you're rooting because you'll see roots starting to poke into that saran wrap. And then I'll just take my cutting and put it into something to keep it upright like this and put it in bright but indirect light. Something not too bright, kind of medium light. We like to use grow lights here, but if you have just sunlight, keep it a few feet away from a window. Make sure it gets no direct sunlight. And and here are the results from some we've taken over the last two weeks. This one we took two days ago, so it's been 48 hours. You can see the start of the root starting to come out here. Again, this has only been 48 hours. This one has been about a week, really massive root production already. Again, these are all done in the moss method. And finally, we have two weeks, really, really big roots, happy plant, and ready to transplant into a bigger moss pot. Thank you guys for watching this week's video. If you did enjoy the video and or learn something new, please click the like button down below and click subscribe if you want to come back every Saturday for a new houseplant how-to video and learn more about tropical plants. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week.